20 chat GPT prompts to write Excel formulas. In this video, I will show you 20 chat GPT prompts to write Excel formulas. Open chat GPT site. You can open it by typing chat.openai.com on your browser. Example 1. Calculating days between dates. If you need to calculate the number of days between a date and the end of a current month, ChatGPT can help. Like, I will say, what is the actual formula to calculate the difference between a date in cell B2 and the end of the current month? In this way, you got the formula. This is the formula. You can copy it. Here is a breakdown of how this formula works. This formula will give you the number of days between the date in cell B2 and the end of the current month. Example 2. Counting cells based on a specific condition. Suppose you want to count all cells in column B that starts with the letter G. Chat GPT can assist here too. It can explain how to use wildcard characters in combination with the count if function to achieve the desired result. Like I will say, write an Excel formula to count all of the cells in column B that starts with letter G. To count all of the cells in column B that starts with the letter G in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. You can copy this formula from here. If you don't understand this formula, then here is the explanation for understanding the formula. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will count all the cells in column B that starts with the letter G. Now, I will show you 20 chat GPT prompts to write Excel formulas. Number 1. I will say, Generate an Excel formula to calculate the average of values in column C. To calculate the average of values in column C in Excel, you can use the following formula. In this way, you got the formula, the explanation for the formula. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will calculate and display the average of all the values in column C. Number 2. I will say, I need an Excel formula to sum all the even numbers in range A1 colon A100. To sum all the even numbers in the range A1 colon A100 in Excel, you can use the following formula. Here is the formula. Here is what the formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will sum all the even numbers in the range A1 colon A100. Number 3. I will say, Can you provide an Excel formula to find the maximum value in column B. To find the maximum value in column B in Excel, you can use the following formula. Here is the formula. Here is what the formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will return the maximum value found in column B. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will return the maximum value found in column B. Number 4. I will say, write an Excel formula to count the cells containing yes in column D. To count cells containing yes in column D in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. This is the explanation for that. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will count all the cells in column D that contains the text yes. Number 5. I will say, generate an Excel formula to calculate the compound interest on a loan.
to calculate compound interest on a loan in Excel, you can use the following formula. Here is the formula. Here is what each component of the formula represents. This formula will give you the total payment, which includes both the principal and interest. To isolate the interest portion, you can subtract the original loan amount, PV, from the total payment. Here is how you can do that. In this modified formula, the first part calculates the total payment and the second part subtracts the original loan amount, PV, to isolate the interest portion. Number 6. I will say, how can I create an Excel formula to extract text after a hyphen in cell A1? To extract text after a hyphen in cell A1 in Excel, you can use a combination of the search and MID function. Assuming that the text in cell A1 is some text and you want to extract text the part after that hyphen, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here's how this formula works. Make sure to replace some text in the formula with the actual cell reference if you want to extract text from a different cell. Number 7. I will say, Write an Excel formula to concatenate the text in cells A1 and B1. To concatenate the text in cells A1 and B1 in Excel, you can use the following formula. Here is what this formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will combine the text from cells A1 and B1 and display the concatenated result. Number 8. I will say, I need a formula to calculate the age based on a birth date in cell A1. To calculate age based on a birth date in cell A1 in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here is what this formula does. This formula will calculate the age based on a birth date in cell A1 and the current date. It will display the age as a whole number of years. Number 9. I will say, can you help me create an Excel formula to determine if a value in cell A1 is greater than 50? To determine if a value in cell A1 is greater than 50 in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here is the explanation for the formula. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will display yes. If the value in cell A1 is greater than 50 and no if it's not. Number 10. I will say, generate an Excel formula to convert a date in cell A1 to the day of the week. To convert a date in cell A1 to the day of the week in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is a formula. Here is what this formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell and provide a date in cell A1, it will display the full name of the day of the week corresponding to that date. For example, if cell A1 contains the date 2023 10 10, the formula will return Monday because October 10, 2023 falls on a Monday. Number 11. I will say, provide an Excel formula to find the mediation of values in column E. To find the mediation of values in column E, in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. 
Here's what this formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will calculate and display the median of all the values in column E. Number 12. I will say, write an Excel formula to round the value in cell E1 to the nearest whole number. To round the value in cell A1 to the nearest whole number in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here is what this formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will round the value in cell A1 to the nearest whole number. Number 13. I will say, I'd like an Excel formula to extract the domain from an email address in cell A1. To extract the domain from an email address in cell A1 in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here is how this formula works. This formula will extract the domain from the email address in cell A1 and display it as a result. Number 14. I will say generate a formula to check. If a cell in column C contains the word apple. To check if a cell in column C contains the word apple in Excel, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here's how this formula works. You can place this formula in a cell in the same row as the cell in column C that you want to check. It will give you a message indicating whether the cell contains the word apple or not. Number 15. I will say, can you help me create an Excel formula to calculate the monthly payment for a loan? To calculate the monthly payment for a loan in Excel, you can use the PMT function. The PMT function requires three arguments, the interest rate, the number of payment periods, and the loan amount. Here is a formula that calculates the monthly payment. This is the formula. Here is what each argument represents. You also got an example, the formula for that and the explanation for the formula. Number 16. I will say, write an Excel formula to determine the number of working days between two dates. To determine the number of working days, business days, between two dates in Excel, you can use the network days function. The network days function calculates the number of whole work days between two dates, excluding weekends and a specified holidays if provided. Here is the formula. Here is what each argument represents. Here is an example for better understanding. Explanation for the formula and another formula. Further explanation is here. Number 17. I will say, I need a formula to find the last occurrence of a specific text in column B. To find the last occurrence of a specific text in column B in Excel, you can use a combination of the lookup and search functions. Assuming you want to find the last occurrence of the text specific in column B, you can use the following formula. This is the formula. Here's how this formula works. 
द लुक ऑफ फंक्शन विल रिटर्न द रो नंबर ऑफ द लास्ट अक्रेंस ऑफ स्पेसिफिक इन कॉलम बी इफ स्पेसिफिक इज नॉट फाउंड इट विल रिटर्न एन एरर वैल्यू लाइक एन स्लैश ए नंबर एटीन आई विल से प्रोवाइड एन एप्सल फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द वेरियंस ऑफ डेटा इन रेंज ए वन कॉलन ए फाइव जीरो टू कैलकुलेट द वेरियंस ऑफ डेटा इन रेंज ए वन कॉलन ए फाइव जीरो इन एक्सल You can use the VAR function. Here is the formula. Here is what this formula does. When you enter this formula in a cell, it will calculate and display the variance of the data in cell A1 through A50. Number 19. I will say generate a formula to check if a date in cell A1 falls within a specific month to check if a date in cell a1 falls within a specific month in excel you can use the following formula let's assume you want to check if the date in a1 falls within the month of october this is the formula Here is what this formula does. You got two conditions for AND function. If both conditions are true, the formula returns true, indicating that the date in cell A1 falls within the specific month. Otherwise, it returns false. Number twenty. I will say write an Excel formula to return pass if the score in cell A1. is greater than or equal to 70 to return pass if the score in cell a1 is greater than or equal to 70 in excel you can use the following formula this is the formula here is how this formula works The if function checks whether the score in A1 is greater than or equal to 70. If it is, it returns pass. Otherwise, it returns fail. I am done with showing you 20 ChatGPT prompts to write Excel formula. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.